Hi there, my name is Roman, and today I'm doing a quick review of the book The Door in the Wall by Marguerite D'Angeli. It's a pretty fun um, action-adventure historical book that takes place in the, during the British past, during the time when they were at war with Scotland. And it's just one thing to take note of, it's a really short book. It was like a children's book written in 1945. It won the Newbery, though, so, you know, points for that. But um, it only takes like two chapters, so it's a quick read to go through. Which is kind of a detraction to it, because there's just not a lot to sink your teeth into. But it does, for what's there, it does kind of make up for that. It's a very interesting, to, very interesting story, to me at least. Because one, I enjoy kind of views of the past, kind of seeing what life was like in times kind of far gone. That we usually can't really relate to in a modern time. And also, the main character of this book, Robin, the son of a lord who is at the, at the side of the king during the war with Scotland. And his mother's also away. She is attending the queen, who is sick in this particular context. And the thing, I, like I said, the real thing I really like about that is that Martha um, Robin, a little boy, is having problem with his legs. He's got a disease that's debilitating him. I don't think it's polio. It wasn't mentioned in that, but I'm not sure. I don't have a deep knowledge on that, but it was enjoyable in the fact that he got like there were servants left behind to take care of him. But there's also a plague going on in the city where he lives in that time. So it's just got a war and plague at the same time. So they, all the servants are dead, and he's only saved by a nice um, friar called named Friar Luke who shows up, to kind of puts him on his back, and takes him out of the city so he doesn't kind of wither away more than he already has. And I think the, that's kind of how you spend the rest of the book, is him kind of slowly building himself back up, learning how to survive without full use of his legs, which I really enjoy. That was one of my favorite parts of it. Besides historical context, because um, in the past I was in a car accident, and I broke my leg, so I had to go through that process as well. So it's kind of, I enjoyed seeing that portrayed in this book, and uh, not only the physical, but kind of the emotional kind of rebuilding that it takes in order to get back to at least some somewhat close to how you were before. The, the, also, there's some after afterwards with all of that. There's some swashbuckling adventures. So you have that to look forward to, not just, you know, like, oh, monks and crippled kids. So it's kind of, no offense to anyone with a disability, that just came to mind. But there's more going on with that. That I won't spoil because that's kind of the that's when things get actiony and exciting. But overall, it's a bit, well the parts of books are fun. It's, as I said before, it's just very short, so it's not a lot to get into. So I can't really rate it higher than like a three point five. That's a, like a very very light four out of five on my five for my one to five list. But I think if you're in for something, it's quick. That you can get some kind of good, nice emotional feels out of while still getting like a bit of adventure. It's like the beginning of Lord of the Rings when the hobbits are leaving the Shire. It never shifts into any higher gear than that. But it's like you'll get, you'll get some stuff going on there. So I think it's worth reading. With all that, thank you very much for those who've watched my past videos. And for anyone who's going to watch this, also thank you very much for your time.